Hello to a new video. Today is Sunday, the 27th of December 2015. It's currently 8.20 CET in the morning. I have recruited someone new and this recruiting is in certain ways the most important one so far. I have come to understand quite a while ago actually um, that there is something horrendously wrong with the United States Marine Corps. Uh, for those of you who've been around since the hot phase you might recall how back on the Minages page when I pointed out NASA's photo manipulation I already then jokingly talked about my Marines in these terrain tables. Um, but the reason why I did that then is because for years prior I had me a certain affiliation with the United States Marine Corps and for years even prior to that I had me a certain affiliation with believe it or not, the French Foreign Legion. And when I say certain affiliation, um, I assure you I have never in my life been serving for either, at least not to my knowledge. But uh, with the French Foreign Legion I realized a long time ago, and now in retrospect, coming, having come into understanding what my role throughout my life really uh, with some people was, uh, I noted that there was something fishy with the French Foreign Legion a long time ago already, and uh, along the way also the United States Marine Corps uh, was a little getting more and more fishy. And the thing about the United States Marine Corps is I deduced that the bitch queens made a deal and surrender the entire United States Marine Corps, uh, Marine Corps to somebody else. I'm not perfectly sure if it is body fuck fuck or if it is uh, the filthy eagles in Europe. Both things are possible, even if they seem to seemingly uh, contradict one another, because it depends on what the bitch queens would have gotten in return. But the bitch queens gave away their control over the United States Marine Corps. Uh, which also explains why, in all my attempts to understand, it was always the army I had down, the navy I had down, and the air force I had down, U.S. side, talking, um, so the U.S. army and U.S. navy and U.S. air force, uh, but I never quite really had the Marine Corps on my radar, so to speak, until very indirectly, um, considering what is probably going on out there, thinking about that, I noted more and more, whoops, somebody bargained the USMC away. Hence, <coughs> today the United States Marine Corps in its entirety is being recruited. I do want to point out, before I continue, uh, that, actually when I say today, that's not quite accurate, because I arrived at that decision already late yesterday, but here is the video I'm recording. I would like to point out that they're not the only ones being recruited, because today is a recruiting number, namely the new number 8, which holds a lot right now at the start, and which, as first of those recruited so far, will get, very, very definitely will get new additions to boost their rank, so to speak, um, in the future. Why did I choose them to be number 8? Uh, I chose them to be number 8 because their motto is Semper Fidelis, which does not mean... Uh, I actually went as far as bloody looked it up in a dictionary, just to make sure does not mean, never did mean, and never will mean, always faithful. That is not what Semper Fidelis means. Semper Fidelis means always loyal. Translating it as always faithful is deliberate idiocy, aimed at hijacking the term faithful, abusing it with all of these idiocy routines that they're pertaining to language and word interpretation and whatsoever. Semper Fidelis does not mean always faithful, it means always loyal. 
And as they recruited for mankind now, they are always loyal to mankind. And as always means forever, or if you will, infinity, I figured, well, if you take the infinity sign and turn it by 90 degrees, you get an 8, and vice versa. If you take an 8 and turn it by 90 degrees, you get the infinity sign. So, I figured 8 is the most appropriate number. In fact, I sur surfed around the world on the web today looking at 8 and what all pertains to the number 8 and so on and so forth. And I figured that is one darn good number to be recruited as. Uh, so the United States Marine Corps is recruited as the new number 8. Uh, and they will not serve quite the way they were accustomed to it so far because number eight will only have eight ranks namely three enlisted ones there'll just be a private, a corporal and a sergeant and the private is allowed to be called human, no shit because I figure if you want to yell at someone then pointing out that he's a bloody human kind of helps the concept so instead of private whatnot, you could just yell human whatnot. That is a good thing. Um, you have two what in the U.S. rank systems would be called company grade officers, namely lieutenant and captain. You have two what there would be called field grade officers, namely major and colonel, which brings you to seven. You have three enlisted, two company grade, two field grade, and as the eighth rank, everything above colonel currently all gets the same rank when it comes to mankind's number eight and that rank is called octo no ship which is actually an abbreviation for something namely officer central to operation the idea being that up to and including the colonels they're actually going into the field but the bloody octos do not that is the idea of it them being called octos, and of course the figure eight coming into play. See, I was thinking, what kind of animal, because military units often associate themselves with animals, or at least have some kind of symbol or whatnot. Um, <coughs> and when it comes to symbol, I figured the first thing I associated with the number eight, other than infinity. And by the way, uh, I still have this stuck here to my computer. This is, this is the oldest post-it that I have in my possession. This is from the very, very hot face, some two and a half years ago or something. And uh, in infinity, mathematically, lay, and I wrote this in a document, lay protection against all manners of routines, and number eight is automatically under the protection of infinity as a mathematical concept, which really protects them from all manners of ship routines out there. Um, but other than the infinity symbol associated with it, I associated the eight ball from the from the pool game with it. Um, and hence the eight ball is a symbol they have the liberty to use. In addition to that, when it comes to animals, it occurred to me that considering how marines usually are delivered to the coast, more or less, um, I figured an animal that would lend itself to something like that uh, would be the octopus. So their official anima, uh, animal is the octopus and as an alternate animal, if they're delivered by air, uh, a spider would lend itself pretty well. Though the octopus being the preferred one. The idea being that the octopus remains in the water being the octos, while its long, long tentacles reach out and do shit. Those being the seven grades that actually, seven ranks that actually go into the, the field operations. Um, in addition to the United States Marine Corps, at the very same time, the Royal Marines, who aren't even royal anymore, I mean, the U.S. cannot be maintained as a United States, 50 of them, but that is another topic. The Royal Marines, uh, likewise, have been recruited in their entirety, uh, and also are number eight now. Uh, and in addition to that, 
In particular, the French Foreign Legion has been recruited. I do want to point out that my ties to the French Foreign Legion have been, I must admit, over the last few years, they, they didn't manifest themselves much other than occasional ridicule over these three years in particular. But uh, prior to them, uh, I had quite some association with the French Foreign Legion. And uh, in fact, by sheer coincidence, um, the, the grenade symbol of theirs it looks pretty much like, you might interpret it as, if you count the flames as eight rather than seven, if you said it goes in the middle of two really that overlap, you bloody have an octopus there or, or an eight ball with fire or whatnot. And I, I will send an email a little later uh, with a few inspirational, not that I'm, not that I'm thinking anybody needs those, but with a few inspirational artworks. So, the United States Marine Corps in its entirety the Royal Marines of former United Kingdom and the entirety of the French Foreign Legion is currently at the start jointly being recruited into number eight. The idea of number eight is that number eight will be uh, and at the at the Wikipedia entry to the United States Marine Corps it says nicely how they are and I quote an ex expeditionary force in readiness. I like the phrasing of that. Very precise phrasing. That is basically what number eight is supposed to do. And the French Foreign Legion swearing their pledge to the Legion itself um, would probably be a somewhat defensive factor in number eight. In the sense of defending number eight in itself, best as it can. I do want to point out that the concept with the Octos is that everyone above Colonel being declared an Octo of the U.S. Marine Corps, the Royal, Na uh, the Royal Marines, not the Royal Navy, the Royal Marines, and the French Foreign Legion means that they're all to be best as possible connected and working for mankind. Matter of fact, um, if I understand this correctly, there's an octo, so to speak, uh, running armed services in America currently. I like the idea of that. That was not the reason why I did that. I chose them because I realized that the bloody bitch queens bargained the entire United States Marine Corps away. Uh, probably for some of their guard duties, um, not really for their military power. Um, it is apparent from history, if you look back a little, that the Marine Corps has long, long, long ago uh, in the ranks of corrupt military leaders in America fallen out of grace. I mean, they damn nigh on one in the bloody Vietnamese War. Would you believe that? And naturally, that demanded a bit of punishment. So, uh, the U.S. Marine Corps for decades wasn't very liked anyhow, and the bloody bitch queens bargained them away. Um, so I think it's only fair to recruit them for mankind, and they are Semper Fidelis. The United States Marine Corps has, did me some research today, the United States Marine Corps has, well, wherever the fuck I wrote down my research, uh, the United States Marine Corps has two types of music associated with it. There is a dreadful march. A really, really, really dreadful march. Here it is. Uh, by one John Philip Sosa, horrendously third rate, pompous, dreck piece from the late 19th century. Musically dreadful. The Marines' hymn is okay. I understand that's by Offenbach originally, or at least a variation there. That's fine. Um, but that is just for their duties in the U.S. But when it comes to the eight, the eight gets an official new anthem, so to speak. Now I'm going to play you that. And I do want to point out that I understand that what you're going to hear just lasts, first of all, just one minute. Because it is the intro to something. But, and that it doesn't come in the shape of a march, and it doesn't come in the shape of a hymn, really, and so on and so forth. But it, it, it does resemble the general... Uh, das Leitmotiv, basically, uh, 
and you can take that and work it into everything, even if need be, uh, certainly a march, but even if need be a requiem to whatever and whatnot, you can, you can use that. And what I like about even that one minute version is that the first half is them being delivered, so to speak, and then they do their thing. Listen to this. This is the official anthem, if you will, for number eight. heard was composed by one Lolita Ridmanis. I hope I pronounced her name right. She's an Emmy nominated and Emmy winning uh, composer. And that one was a theme from a cartoon show, I kid you not. And I assure you, as someone who has a bit of understanding of music, this is brilliant shit. <clears throat> that cartoon show being the Justice League of DC superhero characters, I want to point out that no, Number eight for mankind has nothing to do with bloody superheroes. Incidentally, though, um, the character of Jon Stewart, the then Green Lantern, uh, happened to be a Marine. I just wanted to point out the sheer coincidence of it. That is not why I chose that music. Uh, and in addition, in the unlimited uh, seasons of that show, the show got renamed and they got a new music, which interestingly enough is not anywhere near as good, but especially in the unlimited uh, version of the show, they, namely the bitch queen Khan pulling all the threads in the end over these DC characters being displayed, they really jiggled their diamonds and showed off that he was a marine. They dragged the marine corps and offered it on the market basically. And it seems somebody was interested in it because it changed hands, the entire United States Marine Corps. But that is over because I recruited the entire United States Marine Corps and the Royal Marines and the French Foreign Legion, the Legion Étrangère, for mankind as the new number eight. Now, coming back to that music, how do I envision the role of number eight? You might be familiar with a movie called Apocalypse Now. Uh, a movie of madness about madness. There is a scene in there, very famous, called Ride of the Valkyries. And if you bother, and mind you, the Justice League theme is on YouTube and Ride of the Valkyries is on YouTube from that movie quite a few times actually, both. If you look at that movie clip from Apocalypse Now, if you start at... The, the Ride of the Valkyries starts in the movie when when the, the Squadron of Choppers first appears on the horizon. A little prior to that, actually, it starts setting in, but that is really when it gets a little louder. Wait a few seconds till you have the interior shot in the shot in the chopper through, you know, where you see the two pilots from the back. And at that moment, mute the sound of the movie clip and play that one minute of theme you just heard and imagine that it's not a bloody village in Vietnam, but one of the fortresses, so to speak, the Hochburgen in German. There's no appropriate English word for that, I'm afraid. Uh, Cesspool doesn't quite come close, though it would be appropriate in a certain sense. Um, imagine that it's not some Viennese village, and imagine that it's not bloody army, mind you, I want to point out, but... Number eight. Um, and imagine that it's one of the fortresses of Fex Mundi, which have a bloody IG, say, bloody Martha's Vineyard, for example. And then just sit your ass back, one minute of number eight 
do an in Martha's Vineyard. And that is what they're going to do. I mean, not specifically Martha's Vineyard. I just use Martha's Vineyard as a very known example. Let that sink in a little. And the fuck come to terms and understand what I will do. Namely, we liberate mankind. And today I have recruited number eight to help me do that. Uh, there. So that was basically the most important thing about number eight explained. The entire United States Marine Corps, and I do want to once more, this is very important, everything above colonel, no matter what rank precisely, is all one rank in number eight. You all have the equal rank, none of them is above the other one, even if they're longer serving or whatever. And all of them are octos. And it will come to the day where once they are in the field operating, uh, the octos will like the squid remains, uh, not the squid, sorry, like the octopus remains in the water, stretching out its tentacle to do things, the octos will not in a horrendous, dreadful, abusing, inhumane technology kind of way. I mean there's more in a figurative way than actually using these technologies, but as long as they are out there being forced upon everybody, especially armed services, why the fuck should they not use them to liberate mankind? And that is what they will do. And they will be magnificent. They will be and once more, I love that wonderful phrasing, mankind's expeditionary force in readiness. And they will be that forever. And even if it all runs perfectly, 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 perfect, there beyond, when mankind is 100% fully liberated, number eight will continue to exist. Doing the job that farcical as today it is, the, the blue, the UN... Uh, blue helmet fellas are doing. Number eight will be them just non-farcical in the far, far future after mankind is liberated. And until then, uh, Fex Mundi of Martha's Vineyard or anywhere bloody else, you have been told.